very excited today because I received in the post Cactus Town, which is a brand new game from Second Gate Games together with the expansion, the Lone Ranger, which offers both solo plus gameplay up to five players. So, um, what is uh, Cactus Town? Cactus Town is a game for two to four players, uh, which plays around 20 to 60 minutes, ages eight and up, and complexity 2.2 out of five. It is designed by Roll Luke Turner, and it is a game that uh, actually falls under the categories of uh, car games, uh, games with exploration, with uh, American West theme, and the main mechanisms are action cue, dice rolling, grid movement, modular board, programmed movement, and simultaneous action selection. Cactus Town is a, an asymmetric action programming game for 2 to 4 players, with a 5 with a Lone uh, Ranger expansion, and a highly interactive game of fast paced chase and escape. Sleepy little Cactus Town is going to see some action. You can put yourself in the sheriff's badge, join the group of dangerous bandits, seek ransom as a bounty hunter, or even use the power of seduction, being an avenging Can Can dancer. Uh, the game is uh, really, really interesting and fun, and plays uh, very, very fast as well. In a nutshell, players program their actions with three out of four action cards each turn, uh, which is easy enough, but uh, there are very things that they need to get uh, well and uh, in place in order for them to win the game and succeed uh, progressively, of course. Uh, uh, mastering uh, the real challenge is uh, one of them, or also thinking the, uh, the opponents and create some hilarious chaos. Each player's characters move through a 5x5 building card grid, which is set up randomly face down in each game, and the game includes uh, also an advanced version with building effects and several variants. So this is going to be an unboxing video, so I'm just going to show you the components of the game and we're going to follow up with separate uh, uh, material for the game released. So um, let's start with um, the box of uh, Cactus Town, the main game. This also uh, was on uh, crowdfunding as well, uh, which you could also find some very nice uh, miniatures. Uh, uh, but the game is, uh, play is fully playable with, uh, with this version, the retail version as well. So let's open the game and see what's inside. We have the rule books in various languages. So let's stick with English. This is the rule book of the game. The components, you see you have various cards, which are the basic building cards with the blue back and the advanced ones with the additional effects. Uh, four sets of action cards for each player. They're going to use three out of four for each turn for the programming. Uh, play raids. Uh, the outlaws, the bounty hunters, uh, various uh, sheriff and deputies, tokens, etc, etc. And of course the gangslinger screens. So the goal of the game, depending on what you will be in the game, sheriff, outlaws, bounty hunters or can can dancer. This is how the game is going to be set up. And there are also uh, the rules on how you play the game. You have the planning phase and the action phase and the action cards uh, explained. with uh, all the things that you can do. There is a dual action, which is really fun, and also some special actions like uh, jail uh, an outlaw, plunder, recover, capture, and release a prisoner. Uh, you can also steal a horse, draw one target building, up close, and pay off bet, uh, debts. Uh, there's the outlaw last result action as well, for its break free. And there are different variants in the game, the pioneer's mode, uh, the cactus variant, the gangslinger mode, and uh, these are all the icons of the game. So, let's uh, see the components. We have uh, four screens for the four-player game. Some nice art at the back. I like the cartoonish uh, uh, art on the game. Very, very uh, nicely done, in my opinion. Let's see the punch boards. We have the various punch boards from nice thick cardboard for the different uh, characters, the outlaws, the bandits, the sheriff, etc. Nice humoristic art in all of those. As you can see, <laughs> check out this guy. Good. And then you also have the various tokens of the game. Let's unpunch. Some. Okay, seems that everything gets out of the punch board really, really well. Nice cardstock, thick and sturdy.
great. And we have also the standees that are going to go with some bases, of course, uh, on them, since uh, you're going to be using them to move uh, on a 5x5 five five grid. So we also have four dice. Nice, translucent dice. We have the sandis, the basis for the sandis. And we have two decks of cards. So let's put some on. Okay, nice and handy to do the job great so let's see the cards now this uh, by the looks of it it's uh, linen finish cardstock great qu uh, quality always looking for linen finish cardstock or black ore and this is a good cardstock great quality nice colors and we have a different type of uh, buildings we have the blue ones, which are the basic ones, and the red ones, which are the advanced for the variants. So let's see the buildings. You have the newspaper, the telegraph, the school, professor's home station, engine driver, the casino, liquor store, blacksmith, carpenter, armory, grocery store, tailor, barber shop, watchmaker. You need to have a watchmaker. American West, photographer, bulletin board, library, dentist, uh, veterinarian, courthouse, bank, stable, and saloon. So you see the different icons on the top of uh, the title. And I like the question mark, which is used, uh, uh, made by a cactus. So really nice and fun artwork there. Great job. And then we have the advanced buildings. So it's the same building with some additional actions you can see and there are some effects at the bottom that uh, make the game uh, different. You see, they all have uh, the effect there when you move, what happens, really nice. And then we have the second uh, deck. Oh, we also have uh, Player aids for the bounty hunters, for the outlaws, for the sharing deputies. Actually, these are rules. And we have some information about setup, etc. etc. Okay, good. And then the second deck brings uh, the can can dancer. Okay. I believe this I continue from here uh, different languages for the different roles okay and then we have these cards these are the action cards one set for each uh, color where you can do the different things depending on what you program to do during your turn. This is a really nice and fun cartoonish art. I really like it. It's fitting the game. Great job there with the art. Really, really nice. So there you have, these are the components of the core game. And since we have here the rest, let's also see the Lone Ranger expansion, what it brings. First of all, I really like to try this as a solo as well. So definitely there is a solo mode. Again, we have uh, different languages for the rule books. This is the expansion booklet. We have the components, uh, four action cards used for the fifth player, nine solo mode cards, one more die for the fifth player, the Lone Ranger, player aids, and one more screen and a standy base. So, preparing the game in the town, how to play with two to five players, new action icons, 
how you play the solo mode and some additional explanation there. So that's nice. Let's see uh, the Long Ranger. Cool. It really is Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. And let's see. We have one more die. One more screen for the fifth player. I would definitely like to play the Lone Ranger. <laughs> That's great. And then uh, we have also the cards. This is the back of the Lone Ranger expansion box. And then we have a set of four cards, I suppose, right? For, uh, for the action cards, yeah. Cool, cool. And then we have some additional uh, solo cards for the solo mode. And some more cards as well. Ooh. <laughs> Great art, really loving it. And some uh, play rates as well. So there you have it. These are the components of uh, Cactus Town plus uh, the Long Ranger expansion. I'm really looking forward to give this one a try. It looks like an extremely fun and uh, accessible game. So soon we're going to follow up with more material about the game. So stay tuned.